Blockchain is a technology for managing transactions. And since its first use in 2008 for cryptocurrency, it has become one of the must have technologies in many industries. As a result, project managers may be called upon to implement blockchain technologies in their projects. So, what is a blockchain? This video is not about Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. Yes, the blockchain is used to manage cryptocurrencies, but it has many other uses besides. There are three main characteristics of blockchain technology. First, it's a database. Secondly, it's decentralized. And thirdly, it keeps data secure. We'll look at these one at a time. Number one, the blockchain data. A blockchain contains a growing record of transactions or of the movement of assets. Those records are called blocks. Each block is permanently linked to the previous one in a chain of blocks or a blockchain. Each block has a timestamp and data relating to the change or the transaction it records. Number two, distributed data. The blockchain data are distributed across multiple computers. It is distributed or decentralized. And it uses a public ledger that anyone can access. This means that any change to any record on any computer can be detected. As a result, records can't be altered. This collection of computers working together is known as a peer to peer or P2P network. Number three, secure data. The links between the blocks are secure. They are encoded with a cryptographic hash. A hash is like a digital fingerprint that can't be decoded. Hashing involves passing the data through a complex mathematical function called a hash function. The resulting long number or hash is a unique representation of that data. Reversing that operation to go from the visible number or the hash back to the original data is so computationally complex as to be effectively impossible. This renders the coding of the blockchain enormously secure. The origins of the blockchain. The principles of blockchain technology were first described in 1991 by Stuart Harbour, W. Scott Stornetta and Dave Beyer. But it wasn't until 2008 that the first blockchain was created as a way of recording Bitcoin transactions. That software was created by an anonymous person or group of people who used the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. So blockchain technology was originally used for cryptocurrency transactions, initially Bitcoin, and it is still largely used for this. But now there are many other uses. Today, blockchain technology is used commercially for currency exchange and money transactions, payment processing and supply chain records, tracking sources and processing in the food industry, providing digital identification or DIDs, copyright protection, including NFTs, non-fungible tokens, property sales and long-term records, energy trading, patient records in healthcare, and even in voting. So to justify all this, we need to understand what are the benefits of blockchain technology? Well, there are four main benefits, transparency, reliability, security, and speed. Transparency, because the blockchain technology uses public records, albeit cryptographically secured. Also, because blockchains are usually built on open source technology, meaning anyone can find access to how the technology works and the particular coding that you've used. Reliability, because the automation of the processes increases accuracy. This reduces the need for oversight 
and therefore reduces cost too. Security, because transactions are recorded across multiple sites, reducing the possibility of tampering with the data. And once again, I'll emphasize that the records are held in a cryptographically secure way using hashes. And finally, speed. Automation and rapid processing can save a lot of time in the processing. So with all of these benefits, what are the downsides of blockchain technology? Yes, of course, there are implementation costs. Blockchains use a lot of technology. And it's also true that transactions on the blockchain can be slower than many established software platforms. However, the main downsides of blockchains are linked to their reputation. A reputation for being involved largely with cryptocurrencies and illegal activities. Of course, this may change when blockchains are more widely used, but let's have a brief look at them. Currently, the best known use of blockchain technology is in the creation and transactions of cryptocurrencies. This is both little understood by the wider public and also highly energy intensive. Cryptocurrency mining operations use thousands and thousands of servers which dump huge amounts of heat into our environment and use lots of often carbon intensive energy. And the other category that the public seems to know about is that blockchain technology in general and cryptocurrency in particular are widely used in illegal transactions. The high security of these systems serves bad actors well in maintaining their anonymity. All of this leads to the biggest real downside of blockchain technology at the moment. The lack of proper understanding and regulation of the technology at nation level. This doesn't just affect cryptocurrency and illegal transactions though. In many jurisdictions, the legal status of blockchain transactions is just not clear enough for many organizations to use them widely. So my assessment is that there is a lot of work to be done on blockchain, but most of it is not in the technology. It is in the social, political, economic and regulatory spheres. However, this is likely to happen because the technology is effective. And for that reason, we can expect the use of blockchain technology by commercial and public sector organizations to grow. And that means as a project manager, you will need to understand it. Please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it or learned from it. I'll be making loads more great project management videos for you. So please do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any of them. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.